Nobody answers their critics quite as savagely as Cristiano Ronaldo. His brilliant hat trick against Tottenham came in the wake of rising criticism in recent weeks. Does Ronaldo forgive his coach, Ralph Ragnick, for having lost confidence in him? The answer is still no. That lasted a few days before they were eliminated from the UEFA Champions League at the hands of Atletico Madrid. So, every bit of momentum that was building up came crashing down just like that. It has come down to this. Only one of them can stay at Old Trafford, not both. Let us not forget that the Portuguese did not play the Manchester Derby and left for his country on a trip that surprised many people. Not only did he not play the Derby against Manchester City the previous week, official reason being injury, but he was also not even at the stadium to support his teammates, having taken an unexpected trip to Portugal. Was he trying to meet his agent Jorge Mendes? Something strange is happening with CR7 who did not give any kind of answer or explanation for his absence from the derby. Ragnick does not seem to have the smoothest of relationships with the 37-year-old Ronaldo, but to not make the bench in a derby? If rumors that he was not injured are true, that would suggest something more serious is going on between the coach and the player. Ragnick does not seem to have the smoothest of relationships with the 37-year-old Ronaldo. But to not make the bench in a derby, if the rumors that he was not injured are true, that would suggest that something more serious is going on between the coach and a player who is known for his relentless ambition. Just as many have speculated, it seems that Ronaldo has one foot out the door. Hence all of the rumors with clubs like PSG, Bayern Munich, and Roma. Once El Comandante mentally checks out, that's it. There is no turning back. CR7 is under contract with the Red Devils through 2023, but we know how this goes. If something has to be pushed down the pipeline, someone will find a way. Fast forward to last weekend, Ratnick called him up against Tottenham out of pure frustration, and it would seem that Ronaldo showed his value for the team. That epic hat-trick, his first in Old Trafford in 24 years, showed the Portuguese star at his mesmerizing best. While Ronaldo's confidence in his own abilities remains unshakable, perhaps he was proving something to himself in that angry performance against Tottenham, as much as he was proving his coach and critics wrong. Ragnick wanted goals, right? Get you some. Ronaldo always wants to play. His veracity to win, his competitive spirit and desire to break records is what drives him, even in bad times. Perhaps there is a hint of the issue between him and Ratnik in their mixed in. Clearly, there is something that's not going well in the relationship between the manager and the player. It's a divorce that has been brewing for months. Two personalities that collided from the start. What do you think of the fact that Cristiano Ronaldo and Ralph Ratnick can't coincide? Let us know in the comments. And in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe.